Okay, so um, I actually filmed this already, but uh, I guess I never hit record. Ah, silly me. I'm gonna kill myself. Anyways, how is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are on Facebook Marketplace taking a look at some builds that are uh, worth a pretty penny. At least so the owner seems to think that. Uh, one thing people got to understand about builds is uh, what you put into it isn't always what you're going to get back from it. So we're going to see if these people are asking a fair price. Uh, I had a different video planned for today, but as you can see from the background, uh, it didn't really work out. I tried multiple times to make sure it wouldn't get copyrighted with all different things, and uh, it didn't work out. So we're going to have to wait for that video in the future. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in with the first car. We have a 1995 Nissan 240SX, and oh my god, I already talked about all this shit, and I'm going to fucking blow my brains out. Uh, <laughs> he's asking $15,000, and let's see if that's fair. Now... I almost ended up with an S14, I almost ended up with one, I was planning on buying one before the Civic and taking everything from the WAP and tossing it into it, so it would have been a Jay-Z swapped S14, and then I would have probably turned around and flipped the car. Uh, it didn't It didn't work out the way I wanted to, the one I went and looked at was a shell, and it was a barely even a shell, like it had the whole subframe removed, so it was literally a shell. Um, this one though looks very nice, he has R33 seats, a Momo steering wheel, and an RB25 Neo Swamp making 400 wheel horsepower. He has an RB25 Trans with a super light flywheel, ARP head studs, main studs, metal head gasket, coil rad, mission motor hosing, custom lip diffuser and side skirts, Momo steering wheel, I already mentioned that, same with the R33 seats, harness bar and harnesses, Fortune Auto 500 coilovers, and Model T5 wheels. The rear end of this I love. Besides the weird Home Depot diffuser, I like the rear end. I like the big exhaust tips. I like the wing. It works. The trunk and the, the paint needs a little bit of work. It looks like the trunk doesn't like close correctly almost. There's a bit of a gap. And the paint is a, a bit swirled. However, the rest of the car does look pretty good. Personally, not my favorite wheel for an S14. Um, but this fitment is decent. The interior looks minty, I like that, and the RB25 swap is probably pretty fun. 400 wheel horsepower on a tiny car like this is great. Now he does say his diff is blown, so that kind of sucks, which would probably knock down his price a bit, I would assume, but uh, homeboy's firm at 15,000, he knows what he has. I don't know how much it would cost to replace a diff, but uh, who knows? He will also accept trades for JDM cars only. God, JDM fanboys need to learn how to grow up. Anyways, 15 grand. Not a bad price, but uh, if it doesn't drive, um, that, that that's going to hurt a lot. It's a good $10,000 car, foo. Anyways, next car is a 1987 BMW 325CI Coupe 2-door. And he's only asking 9 grand. And in this first photo, it's a fucking freak of nature. I mean, look at that. Look at the front end. Dude's got his face ripped off. Dude has a hole in the top of his head. What's going on here? Well, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. It's got a turboed LS swap. That's right. A turbo LS swap. Some crazy motherfucker went out there, got a uh, 325 CI coupe, and threw in a LS. So he didn't stop there. He said, you know what? I need all the boost. He threw in a uh, gigantic turbo with it. It's a 93 millimeter GT45 turbo. And this thing probably rips about until the rear end destroys itself. Because there's no way, there's no way that, that rear end is going to handle that much power. I mean, an LS alone, it makes pretty good power, pretty good torque. You throw a turbo at that motherfucker, and now you're just asking for problems. Especially when you're cruising around on 195 tires. What kind of all-season broke boy shit is this? You are trying to kill yourself. I know the sad boy trend is a thing, but let's not take it too serious and wrap around a tree like the one and only R.I.P. You know, we got we got to use our brains a little bit more when we're building cars. Uh, I like the the power plant. I like the idea, but uh, maybe don't do it if you're on the stock wheel and tire setup. Probably brakes that haven't been changed in about ten years. Probably not a good idea. The rest of the car, though, I mean, it's a great solid start. I'm, I mean, I don't know how it runs, but he has a lot of parts for it. It has a 15 gallon fuel cell in the trunk. It's got a four speed that shifts great. It looks like it's got a refreshed, it looks like the car has refreshed internals and a cam. So it probably is a really fun car, but uh, definitely asking to meet your lord and savior if you drive this thing around too hard. For $9,000, could be a fun little project, but a very dangerous one at that. Please be safe out there. Next car is a 1993 Honda Civic, and he's asking ten grand for this. 
And it just makes me wish I finished mine already. God damn. I'm, I'm shooting for Wednesday, everyone. I know I know everyone's already commenting. Drew, where the hell is your Honda? It's coming on Wednesday. Hopefully. I, I'm praying for it. I'm, I'm praying that it's going to be ready on Wednesday. Anyways. Uh, homeboy here has a boosted B-Series. Looks like a fully-fledged race car. Which is cool. Like, I mean, I love race cars, but... You're asking ten grand for a fully fledged race car, and it uh, also has a lot of issues with it. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, first things first, you got no filter on it. That's a big red flag for me. It lets me know that you don't really care about your motor. You know, it might be fine on the track, but if you're driving this thing home from the track with no filter, you're sucking in a lot of debris. Whether you like it or not, that turbo is sucking everyone. Okay, sucking everyone off. It's taking in everything. It's just nonstop sucking. Your mom knows a lot about that. Besides that, just not everything. You know, just looks mint. Which is fine, it's a 93 Honda, but I mean, like, I don't know why he keeps showing the roof. The roof looks fine, in my opinion. But, like, his doors are kind of fucked up. It looks like Rust or Bondo is, is, is underneath the paint. Um, either way, not a mint car for 10 grand. I don't know, hopefully, it comes with the recycling so you can get your money back somewhat. Uh, you know, you could probably recycle that McDonald's bag, too. It, it's just, like, I don't know. To me, probably not a $10,000 car. I think it's a built B-Series. We can check his uh, description really quick doesn't say anything great lets me know that this is truly a great car if it's a built b series i'm guessing maybe four or five hundred horsepower if it's not i don't really know what to expect i don't know the limits of the limitations of the b series um but personally if you ain't built it don't built it capiche it's a cool car i wish i went b series because it would be done already but you know you live and you learn I just don't think anyone's going to learn to pay $10,000 for this thing. But who knows? Next car, 2004 Audi A4, 1.8 turbo, quattro sedan, four-door. He's asking $15,000. And at first glance, you're like, all right, man, my mom owned one of these bad boys. It was an all right car, but it was no $15,000 car. And you're right. This guy, though, however, took his measly little 1.8. I mean, you get more soda in a two-liter from Pizza Hut. And he turned it into a 2.1, so he actually has more motor now than soda, which is a good look, you know, good good job out there. I need to do that with my Honda, um, I don't want to have the same amount of uh, liters in that as I do in the toilet bowl, but uh, he also went and threw a uh, single turbo on this bad boy, and it rips. This thing makes a 400 wheel horsepower, that, that's pretty fun, that's a pretty fun number for a car like this. I don't think you need too much more than that. He also has on an air ride suspension. Couple things I like. I like how he cut his front bumper to perfectly fit his intercooler piping. Things I don't like. I don't like your hood clips. On a stock hood, I don't think it's necessary, but that's just me. It's a great looking car. Not a huge fan of the wheels in some of the photos. It looks like the wheels in the first photos are way better in my opinion. These look like shit, but uh, some people like eating shit. I don't. The rear end looks just absolutely mint. I love it. Kind of looks like a G8 or a GTO. I love the quad tip exhaust. I love the D-badge look. A little bit of tin on the taillights. It looks tasteful. Love it. The fitment is good too. Even though these are the dog shit wheels, uh, the fitment is good. It is, it, is, it is good. He did he did that right. Good job. The interior, I don't know if this is good old Audi rattle canning everything or if this is you, but someone's guilty of it and they need to be punished. I don't like this. I don't like this red stripe. I don't like the red. If it was like wood grain, I feel like that would look cooler, but uh, the bright red, not a fan of that. Like I said, might be Audi, might be the homeboy himself. I don't fucking know. It is a six-speed manual, very cool. Got some nice aftermarket gauges. Overall, a very cool car. Uh, 400 wheel horsepower for a $15,000 built motor. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. And, and it comes with uh, both of it. You know, it's both sides of the car scene. You get the looks and you get the performance. Personally, cool little sleeper in my opinion, but uh, I, I wouldn't pay 15 grand for that. I, I just, no, it's not worth it to me. Not worth it to me. All right, next car, a 1988 Ford Mustang Coupe two-door for $25,000. One of the more expensive cars of the episode. Good old Fox body came with the 351 Whimser. This guy said, fuck that Whimser, and took it out and put in an LS3. And we're talking a 600 horsepower LS3. NA, no turb skis needed on this bad boy. This is a full street car. I was about to say race car, but it's not. It's not a full race car. He's advertising it as a street car. It has an 8.8 .8 rear end with a 373 gears. Mickey Thompson ET Street SS tires. Beautiful engine bay. Like this, this is very clean. 
I would not mind doing this myself, you know? And I love this episode or the series because I get a look at ideas and, like, you know, what works and what doesn't work. And it looks like an LS fits real nice and snug underneath the hood of the Fox body. I know coyotes kind of do, but this looks way more pleasant to work on, in my opinion. I like it. I like it. But, Drew, it's an LS in a Ford. That's a sin. He's going to hell. He might be, but he's going to have fun in the meantime. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And this guy's cruising down the road in an LS swap Fox body. Okay? Are you? You might be. Well, there, there's someone watching this video that has an LS swap Fox body. I already know it. Comment down below if that's you. And you'll get a cookie. Anyways, um, I like the car. I like how it just looks like, you know, a little stock race car. It's kind of cool. Uh... I like it. Very cool. Good job. Double thumbs up. Upgrade your brakes. You look like you're about to die. Last car. All right. Let's let's wrap up this episode finally for the second time. 2000 Honda S2000. And homeboy must have been smoking a crack bowl because he's asking $46,000 for this thing. $46,000. You can go buy, like, maybe, if you find one, a Mark V Supra for around that price. This dude's tripping. For an S2K, what swap do we think this guy did? Okay, spoiler alert, he did do a swap. But what swap do we think he did? Don't read the description. <laughs> Anyways, all right, photos, we're, we're looking at some some money right here. We got some slicks, we got some welds, we got some skinnies up front. Okay, it's a, it's a serious race car. We see some digital gauges, you know, d disconnect steering wheel, cool, whatever. Carbon hood, you know, we're, we're looking at the money stack up, but we're not seeing 46 grand. I ain't seeing it, especially with the Sparco wheel. I ain't seeing it. Why do you got four buttons? Why don't you just wire these into work? Come on, man. Get your shit together. Sparco seats. Money stacking, but no 46 grand. We got some weird cooling shit in the rear. Maybe is, is radiators rear mounted. I don't know. Uh, aftermarket suspension looks like a different rear end. Not sure. Uh, nitrous. Nice. Yellow top battery. The most expensive thing I think we've seen this whole uh, build. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy yet. Okay, underneath the wrap looks white, clean, like it. Black and white looks very classic, very timeless, can go good on every car. You know what goes good in every car? A damn Jay-Z. A damn built Jay-Z. Also has no fucking air filter. What's wrong with these people? They're fucking animals. This guy has a Jay-Z swapped S2000. And I still don't think it's worth 46 grand. I'm going to say that. It is a built Jay-Z, which is cool. He has port and polish heads and built heads. You know, he's got built bottom end. Cool. I like all that. He's got a nice solid fuel system for the most part. But 46 grand, you know, I just, uh, I, don't, I don't see it. Like, yes, that is a solid setup. A Jay-Z alone, depending on where you're at, can range from like seven to 10 grand, depending on what you're getting, I'd say. Um, that, that last time I checked, it's been a minute since I checked. Then you build one, you toss another, you know, five to ten grand into it. So you're at like twenty grand, maybe into the motor, maybe. But that's still, I mean, that's not a twenty thousand dollar car, you know. I mean, the turbo setup is worth something, you know, all this little bells and whistles is worth something, but it is not, in my opinion, a forty six thousand dollar car. Now I'm sure it's a very fun car, very fast car. I'm sure it makes solid numbers. I mean, it's a built Jay Z. It's, it, I'm guessing, north of eight hundred wheel. Which is insane. It's super insane. I don't know if he can get all that to the floor. But uh, the one red flag that I did notice is he only has a Walbro 450 fuel pump. If he has multiple of them, sure, he might be able to make some solid numbers. But a single 450, you're limited to like maybe five or 600 horsepower. Maybe. That's, I mean, that's not much pump. I have twin 525 Walbro pumps. And, uh, I mean, I'm not maxing them out. But yeah, a 450 ain't going to do that much. So... That is a little bit of a red flag. I don't know if that's a typo or if he's supposed to have multiple, but I don't know. He also claims he has another pump or something, but it, it's a little weird. I, I, maybe I just don't understand it. Either way, though, I don't think this is a $46,000 car. I think this is a solid $30,000 car, $35,000 maybe if you find the right guy, but it just seems a little overpriced to me but let me know your opinion down below in the comments if you guys had the money which car are you taking personally if i had the money i'd probably take the s2k if it made as much as i think it makes um if not maybe the fox body i think the fox body is a solid contender and i think it's priced pretty good it's a clean example of a fox body and he's only asking 25 grand i think that's pretty solid let me know your opinion down below guys thank you for watching subscribe to see more videos like this one and until next video peace